All right, folks. We're going to do this low cost solution here for you. It is um, a way for us to kind of cheat uh, the Alaris pumps. So basically, you'll just take some uh, Alaris pump and fusion set. Um, any kind of tubing, I, I choose angiocath, but I got a 14 gauge because we're obviously, we want the largest uh, possible um, tube. We're going to use a 5 ml lure lock. This Loctite, it's basically just a, a silicone gasket. You could probably use pretty much anything that's going to dry up within a couple of hours and that will be thick enough that it won't let air through the bottom. And then just some common scissors. So first we'll take the infusion set here, pull off what we don't need. Um, you don't have to use new sets. This is obviously a brand new set for demonstration purposes. Um, we will pull every once in a while some of our old bags down and replace the sets. Uh, and we'll use those. We'll set them to the side um, because the only thing we need is this part right here. The part that's going to fit into the uh, Alaris pump. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to cut above the top part of it by about two, three inches. You can now throw that away. And now we're going to go down to the bottom. And you're going to give that about the same, two to three inches. You can now throw that away or use it for something else. What we're going to do is we're going to fill up this silicone in the angiocath. We'll dispose of that in a sharps container in a bit. Pull this out of the lure lock bag. which is apparently harder than it should be. Then we're just going to take some of this, the Loctite silicone mix. What we're going to do is pop off the back, put in a little bit. Now, this is extremely thick. I'm squeezing it pretty hard, and it's not really getting a whole lot. But that's all right. You don't need a crazy amount in there, uh, unless you're doing, in fact, you know, multiple uh, of these at one time, which would be good. Um, so we'll set that to the side. We're going to push that back in there and push it all the way, just like normal, to get all the air out of it. And until it starts to come out a little bit, we're going to go ahead and put our angiocath on there. And then the one thing that you always get about air in the line is something we tackled um, somehow by cheating. So instead of the air in the line, we, I always tend to bend it a little bit and you want to cut a pretty good size tube. But that's probably, I don't know, two or three millimeters. You can kind of see that it's a pretty good size, right? So for some reason, having this air hole in and then the silicone in the bottom and nothing on top, the pump feels like it's acting like natural. So what we'll do is we'll now take and put the angiocath in there and give it a little bit of space, maybe about an inch or so, and then push that silicone in there. And be generous. I just slowly pull out. And then once you think you got it good enough, I also kind of squish it a little bit just to make sure that it's all in there. Sometimes if you get a little air bubble or whatnot, um, it will throw things off. But this is a quick way for you to be able to save solution in your center, be able to teach RNs and PCAs and everybody else, LPNs, how to use your Alaris pumps without actually wasting any product. And you'll be able to put that money back right into the system. Thanks so much.